C Spikes 2 follows a similar format to C Spikes 1, but now requires the surgeon to remove incorrect rings from the cones and place them on the correct color cone. The ring color and cone orientations change each time you attempt this exercise, so trying to memorize or stick with a pattern is not helpful. You can see here that we started with the black cone and picked up the incorrect ring off that cone, which gave us a red ring, and so now we have to move in the direction of the red cone in order to correctly place that ring. This process will continue with alternating left and right arm as to which one is picking up the ring and which one is placing down the correct ring. You'll see that we pass the blue ring off to the left arm in order to remove the incorrect ring from the tucked behind blue cone because the right arm had the best approach towards it without causing any collisions. It should be noted that cone collisions of any sort require a pretty heavy penalty and can minimize your score. And so taking the extra steps to prevent the arm from hitting any unnecessary cones is the best way to score well in this exercise. Again, you'll see here that in order to best access the incorrect ring on the pink cone, we switch arms because the right arm, again, has the best approach in the, to the periphery of that in order to grab the ring without causing collisions. Again, here we're being extra cautious as we remove the incorrect ring from the green cone as to not hit the uh, brown cone and cause penalties. As mentioned before, success in this exercise comes from minimizing collisions and having good efficiency between the coordination of the left and right arm.